I think it's worth noting that like, even if you <laughs> do Asteroid Coaster first, it still plays that car scene. <laughs> so it's like, even if you still got two worlds left, it's like, eh, we're done. No, you're not. <laughs> Although I think this cutscene actually does play when you're when you're like properly done. Planets are free. Was there ever any doubt? I mean, really? Great job, buddy. With all the generators destroyed, we can blow this joint and head home. We did it, dude. We. I don't remember you fighting off any insane robots. True. Well, good job to you on inventing a translator that allowed us to speak to the aliens and figure out... Oh yeah, the translator is basically... Is ba I haven't mentioned this yet, but the tra translator is basically just a modified tr a Miles Electric from, un from Unleashed. Good point. Either way, we can get out of this crazy place and go home. <laughs> Looks like the aliens are happy to be going home too. Uh, I think we're in the middle of a party. The middle? We are the party. I think we're their guests of honor. Totally. But we still got one more world to do. It's not over yet. Next critical system failure. Repeat, critical system failure. All attraction access is temporarily suspended. Please evacuate the park via the emergency exit ahead. This is all your fault. <laughs> Critical system failure. Love that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that fool Sonic thinks he's won because he destroyed all my generators. Well, the mind control cannon is full enough for what it has to do. I will have the last laugh. The last laugh. How is laughing last special? Isn't that like being the slowest one to get the joke? Yes! I laugh last all the time! People look at me like I'm an idiot! Forget about it! That's because you are an idiot! Uh, hmm. <clears throat> you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you! There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you! Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Yo, quit busting my batteries over here. I've been working on it all day. What does that even mean? Oh, never mind. In a few seconds, it won't matter anyway, since the world will have only one thing on its mind. What's that, boss? <laughs> Me. Yeah, so remember the thing from the first boss? Yeah, hey... Eggman, Eggman's plans have been ruined since basically the start of the game. Short and late. <laughs> you already shot a laser at Earth in, in Unleashed. You're not, you're not doing that again. <laughs> and also, haha, you pissed on the moon in SA2 lol. And now everything's going haywire. No! This can't be happening! Uh, there's supposed to be music here. <laughs> Yo, what do you mean it burns? Your plans have been crushed by Sonic for like ever. This feels so relaxed with no without the te like the the uh tension music or whatever. Like it's, there's meant to be like like um what the hell man? Like it's not meant to be silent. The hell? Ah, there's the sweet sound by auditory processors no end love. Yeah, th this now I remember why the, we changed the this um, voice chip. <laughs> no matter. Yeah. I may have suffered a setback, but this thing's far from over. The atmosphere of this scene is completely ruined without the music. Like, good lord. It's, it's just kind of nothing now. 
you, you'd be surprised how much like appropriate music adds to a scene. Like when you remove that, it just cuts like so much tension. It's ridiculous. Regardless, uh, 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 before I move on, I want to point out that that is a really cool robot design. But you don't actually really see it much because like this world is like super short. But yeah, that is a really cool design. I like that. Hey tails. Because re remember how Unleashed ended with Eggman Land, a really long and uh, difficult like final stage. Um, I guess they took the the, um, the uh, complaints about the difficulty to heart because. Terminal Velocity is nowhere near as, as long and hard, funny jokes, I know, um, as <laughs> Eggman Land was, so, yeah. It's basically just a, uh, like, a straight, a, a linear straight shot to the, to the end, like, it's, you don't have, like, all these different paths, pathways or anything, it's just a straight shot to the goal, and you're just... Pretty much the best way I can describe it is like it's just a really, a really, really long quick step section where you're just avoiding a bunch of obstacles and that's essentially it. It's a fine level, but um, definitely not my preferred like final stage. Like I am gonna why do? <laughs> it's definitely not my preferred like final stage for a Sonic game, but it gets the job done fine enough uh, for what it for what it is. And it's like appropriate for how to end this game because the amusement park is like going up in shambles. And as, we, as we're going to see later on, uh, this has like made a makeshift black hole appear. So it makes sense that the the level is just running straight forward and just avoiding things. But you know. And there's also we're also going to run into our lovely friend. Uh, the crab robot laser dude, so... Yeah. <laughs> Seriously though, they, you don't even really fight those robots that you saw in the uh, in the world maps. So they... Man... I would love like a colors mod or, or something. Or like, just a mod in general where they... Where like, you, they actually utilize the ro those robots in like... Level design where you need to like actually attack them. Like interact with the map like at all. Also, you, you can jump now. It doesn't. For, this version doesn't tell you that, but you can jump it in this section compared to the Aquarium Park one. So at least you can do this. Okay, now start boosting. Yeah, as long as you like all like. All the furthest away you can get from this guy, um, the lasers will never hurt you, so yeah, he should be fine. Especially since he's motorbikes keep giving me um, wisps. But yeah, nowhere, nowhere near as hard as Ekaman Land, just, just again, straight shot to the goal. Didn't get an S rank though, surprisingly, but that's fine. Probably because I got hit at the start. <laughs> That's probably what did it. <laughs> All right. Time to bail. There are no lines, and I've saved the best rides for last! At least let me stab your hand so you can come back in! I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. Just say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. Curse you, Sonic! Not only do you foil my plans, but you foil my speeches as well! I work hard on them! No matter, I will destroy you! And I will be victorious! Is that better? Like a million times better. Thank you. This robot is special! He's powered by the energy from your little friends! 
Jones. He is invincible! So I'd say it's been nice knowing you, but it hasn't. I have to admit I'm a little scared. I don't think we can beat this guy. See you on the ground, buddy. Huh? Sonic, no! Just got one last thing to do! As for you... All right, let's do it. So this is already this is a cool final boss. It's okay, yeah. yeah this, <laughs> it's kind of weird to see this because the original the, the design of this boss, the eyes were always closed, or like so it's like kind of weird to see them open like that. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I like a boss like this where like it's they he's using like like the worst powers that we've been using for the, throughout the whole game. So it's like I love it when like they do that with bosses. Just like they have your own abilities and they're using them against you. It's also this you can do, which doesn't really do much, but it's something you can do. <laughs> it's pretty satisfying to just boost in its face. In its face. Yeah, I, I, I probably, I probably still put. Uh, I, I probably still call the uh, asteroid coast a boss harder than this, but it's this is. I mean, this is a pretty easy fight in all honesty. But uh, compared to like the other bosses in this game, like it's it's definitely definitely one of the best. It's a really fun fight. Okay, I'm not gonna boost into him just so we get to. Hear this uh, music, this uh, endless possible. Reach for the stars remix a bit more. Um, although I don't, I'm not sure I like this remix of the final boss theme as much as the original. But it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's worth noting that sometimes boosting doesn't actually make you faster. Okay, like two more hopes. Yeah, I'm not gonna boost into him. Yeah, it's worth noting that I don't think he I don't think he ever uses um rocket hover or hover. I think that's all he doesn't use. I mean, obviously Ghost, but Ghost didn't exist in, in the original, so... Oh, good. <laughs> oh, you're not done yet? Okay, there we go. I think depending on where you're moving the control stick, it's Sonic does a different, different pose. I'm not entirely sure if that's accurate, but... Yeah, boy. Get wrecked. But, um. You mind not <laughs> messing with the messing with the sound? Yeah, really fun fight. Not very difficult, but it's just kind of it's just kind of a fun ride. <laughs> And I squandered the S rank because I wanted to hit, I wanted to uh, have more of the music play. So, Woo. <laughs> nice. Oh, my head. Who turned out the lights? 
Should have started running sooner than that. <laughs> but yeah. I never understood what that sound effect was supposed to be. But yeah. I'm running away from a literal black hole. <laughs> so let, let's uh Yeah. Pretty self-explanatory. This is a pretty, uh, th this is a pretty fun and climactic way to end the game. Everything just breaking apart, getting sucked in. I I, I like how abrupt that was. It just like, yeah, cuts in. <laughs> I'm pretty sure in the original it's more like there's a, an actual fade in, but it is what it is. If you're uh, observant enough, by the way, you can see the burst and the void wisp, I think? Like, essentially the wisps from the DS version. You can see them in this cutscene if you're uh, observant enough, which I think is pretty cool. Sonic, are you okay? Man, I can't believe you made it through that! Yeah, I just want to point out, <laughs> Sonic was running away from a black hole for like 30 seconds, and... <laughs> the fact that like that he wasn't even boosting or having any wisp energy or anything and I, I just want to point out not even light can escape black holes so that that just kind of puts into pers into perspective how far Sonic actually is so yeah just just want to point that just want to put that out there Like, he did get sucked into it eventually, but 30, 40 seconds or however long it was, that's nothing to scoff at. <laughs> Especially since he had, like, no outside help with, uh, like, boost or wisp energy or anything like that. But yeah. Also, insert a uh, comment about how the message says, if you if you can read this, you're a geek. But I fit. I'm pretty sure like everyone knows that at this point. So but it's still pretty funny. Yeah, we totally won't see you again. We totally won't see the wisps in any other game past this. Nope, this is the only game they're they're gonna appear in. <laughs> it's a one-off, just like Chip was, uh, just like Shadow was supposed to be. You know, we it's cool. We're, we're not going to see these guys again. But it's fine. God. And that's Sonic Colors. Finally, we can relate our side by side. Where's the sound effects? <laughs> they're supposed to be like, <laughs> oh, I, I, they're supposed to be sound effects for when you actually um, like break the credits. It's not gonna be nothing. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this remix, but I guess okay. First, well, first off, okay, talking about colors itself first. Um, this is still. I think, in my opinion, this is still a really good game. 
Um, is it like my favorite Sonic game or anything? No, but I still really like it. And it was, uh, I'd probably still call it like, like, what, like, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I do like, I, I do like this game uh, quite a lot. Uh, still, but I still think the level design is like pretty solid. It, it, it's def it's definitely not as good as like some other games in the series. I'm I'm not gonna deny that, but as like a small like as like um a simple a more like a more, like a simple game or whatever. I think it gets the job done well enough. And like the like, I talked I talked a lot about how. Um, the wisps and the red rings in the ranking system encourages you to explore the levels more. And like that, that definitely enhances the game like tenfold for me. And I really like the locations in this game. It's unfortunately like this is one of the uh, last Sonic games to have. I think this might be the last Sonic game to have wholly original zones. Unfortunately, but the the levels here are like really, really good. I love the environments. They're very creative. Very um. Okay, you're not supposed to be able to skydive here, but okay. <laughs> um. There's um. Just just a little creativity with the level themes. Um. I love how colorful everything is <laughs> because like that's the name of the game. So I hope I hope so. Um, like it's a like Unleashed was like a lot more grounded, I guess. While also like having like the Sonic elements, whereas this game is going for the more abstract kind of design, which I think there's benefit. I don't, uh, I don't inherently prefer one style over the other, but I, I, I do. I, th I think both styles can work for Sonic. And I feel like Unleashed does it really well. The more grounded, putting it, putting it more into into like reality, just with a Sonic spin. And I think Colors does the whole uh, abstract, w like weird alien environments that have like like, like so that are so removed from our reality. Like there's just it's just crazy with all these crazy environments. I I, I think that this game does that really well. Um, and yeah, again, I don't really have a, a level in this game I I, di I dislike. Like, I think all of them um, ha like stand out in their own way. They're all really fun to play through. And there's like a bunch of different paths that you can find if you like care to explore. And the unlike unlike some later games that we'll play sooner or later, um, the wisps actually. Uh, benefit the level design rather than de de uh, detract from it. So, yeah, just great stuff all around really. I'm no real complaints with the level design. And while it wasn't, with, with Ultimate specifically, while it wasn't the most eloquently like designed or added into the game, the, uh, what was it? The, um, the Ghost Wisp also encouraged more exploration with like new pathways, new secrets and whatnot. And while it was admittedly pretty messy well, with the inclusion at times, um, adding more pathways is something that I, I'm definitely open towards, so I have no complaints there. Uh, I, yeah, I wish this was like the only game that the Wisp were actually in, as I <laughs> kind of joked about in the ending there, because, yeah, they're, they're really well designed here, but when it comes to games we'll play after this, it feel, they feel extremely tacked on, but we'll, we'll get to that when we play this, when we play those games. Um, but yeah. Uh, Music-wise, this is, like, I'm in, mostly indifferent, or, I mean, some of the remixes for Ultimate were pretty good, but as a whole, I'm pretty indifferent to the remixes. Uh, like, I, I, I kind of just prefer listening to the original soundtrack. If I'm honest, so that's how I'm gonna play the game going forward. So I'm glad that they updated the game so to there, yeah, so you can just play with the original music. That's nice. But yeah. As a whole, though, I I definitely have some complaints. Yeah, like the the, the 
the wisps were not supposed were supposed to be more spread out <laughs> than that. But yeah, I definitely have some complaints with with Ultimate. Like uh, visually, it's like some levels look a lot better, some of them look about on par. Others look, just kind of confuse me, and it's like and others well mainly I think it's mainly just Starlight Carnival for, for me that like, just looks worse, like like flat out. But most of them look either look about on par uh, better, or if they do look worse, it's not super egregious. Like, I think I, I I think Tropical Resort honestly looks worse, but it's not super egregious. So I can I can live with that. But yeah, um, it, it I, I was expecting it to look a lot worse, but it's it's fine. Uh, I don't have too many complaints. Like it definitely could be a lot better, and I still stand stand by the fact that. They, it would have been a lot better if they just did more of an upscale of the original and then added more on top of that uh, after the fact instead of bothering with like making new assets entirely. And whatnot. I feel like that's just that was just a complete waste of um, development time. I don't know how development works. I don't know if they had to do that, so I'm not gonna pretend I know all of that. But in a perfect world, that's how I would have preferred it to be. But yeah, it is what it is. It could have been a lot worse. But besides that, my like the biggest issues I have were just weird graphical bugs. Besides that, the only like real issue that actually it like hindered gameplay was the was the Chasing Aquarium Park where you kind of had to just guess where to dodge the lasers because that like you can't see where they're gonna sp <laughs> where the lasers are gonna show up. So it's just like you either guess right or you eat crap. There's no in between with that. But yeah, but other than that, I, uh, I, like, obviously, I'm not blind, I'm not, well, <laughs> made by blind squirrel, lol, but, yeah, I'm not blind, I can see the issues with, like, the visuals here and there, like, the, I, I, I'm, obviously, like, I can see that stuff, but, it, if it didn't, like, hinder my actual enjoyment of the game, I don't care that much, does it, is it, like, acceptable? Probably not, it probably should have been, like, ironed out, but, it, if I'm not like glitching through the floor or I'm not like dying pointlessly because of a glitch, I don't care that much in the grand scheme of things. So I, I'm I I don't really care. <laughs> but I, I, I get it. it. It definitely this this port definitely lacks some polish. <laughs> like even after all the port, all the best, even after all the updates and whatnot. But eh, I, I can live. Um, but yeah, I, it's definitely the less polished, ver polished version of the game, and I can understand people like just sticking with the Wii version, but I think honestly, with the um, new pass, the, the, the Ghost Wisp, the, um, the uh, park tokens encouraging more exploration, I think this is probably my preferred way to play the game now, with a, with a bit of, a, of an asterisk, because again, it is uh, not, not the most polished, and uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, the animations are, are kind of jank sometimes. Like some of the animations just don't play properly, um, and just ra random stuff like that. There, like I said, there's some caveats caveats to it, um, and again, it's like not the most polished version of the game. Uh, but as a whole, I think I do prefer. I, I think I did prefer this over the original. I probably would be singing a completely different tune if I played this at launch, which is why I waited so long to actually play it for myself, because yeah, I, I didn't want to have a miserable experience playing uh, yeah, like one of my favorite Sonic games. Like, is this it? I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I like most of the games in this franchise, so I say, like, I I don't, <laughs> I, I don't even know what I'd really consider like my favorite Sonic games anymore. <laughs> um, it kind of changes depending on. I mean, SA2, I I don't know, like, like the ones I like will probably always be like ones I enjoy, but like. What I like more than others just kind of depends on my mood. But 
yeah, uh, yeah, colors is pretty. Again, it's, it's definitely one of the most uh, well-rounded games in the series. And, yeah. Uh, I, I talked a lot about, like, the story and stuff. Like, I think the story in, in this game is fine. I, I'm not, like, in love with it or anything, but it's, uh, it's fine. I, I, I think people blame this game too much for what comes after this game. But I don't. I don't think Colors itself is really like like to blame. Like Colors itself, while I I don't love this story or anything, I think I think it's harmless. Um, and I, I I like the wisps as a as a concept. Oh, that was good. <laughs> I like the wisps as, as a general concept as well. So yeah, I I don't have many issues. It's very a, a lot more lighthearted. I think I think that was warranted for this. For, for, that's so funny. Um, yeah, I think that was warranted for this point in the series, series um, uh, like lifespan, if you will, because we were so we were so used to like these like these um, epic tales, whatever, you, what, or what have you, with Sonic. So yeah, just having a game that slows down a bit and just has a much simpler story, where it's just Sonic, Tails, Eggman, and and his robots just doing. Something in like a space amusement park, and you have to save aliens, which is ba which is basically the same deal as like saving animals in, in like the original Sonic games. It's just repurposed. So, yeah. now it goes to blind squirrel games. Uh, credits. But yeah, I don't really have much else to add to, the, to uh, this uh, to this game at this point. I feel I feel like I've basically said all I needed to. I I oh yeah, well, well I guess I, there's the Metal Sonic races which I didn't bother doing, but yeah, it, it's like you know the doppelganger races in Generations. It's basically just that. It's nothing too special. Um, it. <laughs> There's the pop-up that looks like a, uh, a a sketchy ad, which is really funny, but yeah, it's just kind of it's just kind of there, honestly. It's not even, like there's only one uh, Metal Sonic race in every zone. It's like you don't even have it for every individual level, which is kind of whack, honestly. Like if you're gonna put that in the game, you might as well put it for every level. But yeah, it, is, it is what it is, and uh, there's um. The game land as well, which is also just a nice little extra, and it you know, just this is just a bunch of like cool little extras in the game that encourage encourages the players that want to go for a hundred percent and get more bang for their buck. Because yeah, this is a really short game, but if you do want to go for a hundred percent, you it, well, it's still not going to be the longest game in the world, but you you you're still gonna get you're still gonna get like a decent amount of uh, like mileage out of it. And uh, these credits also are super long because it, it like it plays the songs again. So I'm just gonna screw that and skip it. <laughs> Faster, you idiot! Faster! Put your backsides into it. Technically, we don't have backsides, boss. I don't care. Just push. We have to hurry. I already have my revenge planned out, and next time I will not fail. Of course you won't, boss. Of course you won't. On the bright side, a certain someone got their voice back. I feel like my old self! All I wanna do is talk, talk, talk! Hey, remember when we were chasing those little alien guys? What's up with those things anyway? They sure were funny looking! Ha <laughs> ha! It's not that though! Yeah, what I wouldn't give for the maddening silence of space right about now. Sushi, hey, I heard they started using fish! Father, we didn't bring any with us! Not that we can eat it since we're robots, but we gotta look at it! I love looking at stuff! I love stuff! The fire show game was great! Hey, how did we get all this stuff to blow up like that anyway? Loved it! By the way, this is very strange, that dog star dog! Oh lordy. I do like how this game introduced a, uh, like, or started the trend of uh, post post credit scenes for Sonic. So that's, that's something. <sighs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for the playthrough. I'm not again. I'm not gonna be bothering showing off any of the extras. I'm gonna be doing all that stuff in my in my own time and. For like um, 
the ev uh, like an eventual stream. And that I'll, I'll definitely get go for everything when I like do when I do that. But yeah, regardless, that's uh, Sonic Colors Ultimate. So yeah, I basically said all I needed to. So yeah, I had I had I had a I had, I had uh, fun going through this again. Just well, colors in general and ultimate for the first time. And uh, yeah, next up on the Sonic uh, playthroughs is um, Generations, I believe. So yeah, that I'm gonna be <laughs> going on uh, a massive Sonic trip this uh, next month or so because yeah, again, I need to <laughs> do all this hopefully before Frontiers comes out. So yeah, hope you look. Hope, hope you guys look forward to that, and I'll. See you guys later. Goodbye.